What's happening everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet and in today's video, we'll be discussing the all new AT4X AEV edition. And this thing, man, it looks badass. So let's just get right into it. All right, so GMC dropped a new truck on us this morning, the 2023 Sierra AT4X AEV edition in partnership with, of course, AEV, duh. GMC announced the truck on their social media accounts this morning with this post here saying, Conquer the wild in the next level collaboration between GMC and American Expedition Vehicles. The first ever GMC Sierra AT4X AEV edition. Check it out for yourself and see how it's powerfully equipped to take on the baddest untamed backcountry. And then you can see we've got these four images here, but don't you worry, guys. I've got the entire library of images. It's about 14 or so HD images of the truck, and I'm going to share those all with you in just a second. But first, I've got to say that this reveal seriously caught me off guard because if you've been following my channel, you probably saw the video uploaded last month about the upcoming and very hyped up ZR2 Bison Edition. And this is a truck that is also being developed in partnership with the AEV and Chevrolet only released a teaser of it, which is what you see playing behind me right now. And I just, honestly, I just really expected to see the ZR2 Bison to be revealed first because uh, after all, the AT4X AEV edition is probably really close to what we're gonna see with the Bison. And I'm not complaining by any means, uh, this AT4X looks awesome. So let's just dive into some of the images that I have right here, starting with this one. And man, does this thing look cool. Obviously the most dramatic change we're seeing to the front end of the truck is the high clearance AEV stamp steel front bumper, which is also corrosive resistant thanks to AEV's powder coating process. The front bumper also has integrated recovery points, which are a great feature in case you need to, you know, have your friend in the ZR2 Bison to drag you out of that hole that you've gotten yourself stuck in. Uh, the last feature to note, and arguably the most important one, is the integrated winch. I'm I'm really really happy to see they didn't skip out on that. I think anyone who off roads knows that. A winch can be your saving grace in many, many situations, especially if you're off-roading by yourself. Going around to the back of the truck, we get a look at the stamp steel rear bumper, which also improves approach angles, has integrated recovery points, and comes powder coated for optimal corrosion resistance. And then underneath the AEV edition, we have hot stamped boron steel skid plates, which according to AEV and GMC, they are three and a half times stronger than the equivalent cold stamped high strength steel plates. Obviously, when we're dealing with like rocky trails or really extreme off-roading, you want to make sure that things like your transfer case, fuel tank, rear diff, oil pan, you know, you, you don't want those to be taking any real punishment. So that upgrade certainly makes a lot of sense on this truck. As far as wheels and tires go, those have also been updated. As you can see here, we have AEV's race-inspired wheels with a 12-spoke design and recessed valve stems. Once again, just off-roading focus here. And those are wrapped in 33-inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires. So a little bit of a tire upgrade for the AT4X there. A few other things to note are those blacked out and I assume powder coated rock guards, as well as a few design exclusive elements like the AEV exterior badging, all weather floor mat logos, and headrest embroidery. We've got a blacked out upper tailgate section, blacked out door handles, and the front fascia and grille do appear to be slightly different with a gloss black upper section and then dark nickel inserts. All in all, I mean, I think, I think the truck looks spectacular. And I'm starting to think that GM has actually made a really good move here by marketing themselves as the Overland or trail truck brand rather than the off-road race truck brand like you know Ford with the Raptor or Ram with the TRX. Now, obviously this truck doesn't need much in the way of suspension upgrades since it will come with the AT4X's DSSV Multimatic Suspension System. And when you combine that with the front and rear electronic locking diffs, you really shouldn't have too much trouble when it comes to trail driving or overlanding in this thing, which is definitely the marketing approach. It's an overland truck, turnkey, ready to go. One thing, of course, I'll be interested to see is the price point. The AT4X starts at 76,500, so I am expecting at least like an 88 to 90,000 dollar price tag for the AEV edition, but we'll just have to wait and see. GMC didn't provide a release date, other than that it will be available early 2023. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this thing. The likes, the dislikes, everything in between. If you made it this far in the video, if you could help me out by just smashing that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already for fresh General Motors related news and content every single week. And I will see you all in the very next video. Thanks again for watching, guys, and have a great weekend.